the whole preparation of one year is for that one day you waited for so long every minute you spend in the exam hall matters your paper attempting strategy will decide your score because at last your voyeur model will be checked and not your knowledge in this video i have explained the best and fastest paper attempting strategy to crack neat 2022 this strategy is followed by neat toppers and i personally use this strategy and it really worked for me by following this strategy i don't feel any stress I don't make any blunders and I can able to complete the exam faster than others. And I believe this video will make a significant impact in your need score. So watch this video completely. If you are new to my channel, hello, I am Ibrahim, third year MBBA student from Madras Medical College. Okay, without wasting time, let's dive into the topic. Which subject to solve first? This is the very common question students ask. To answer this question, I like to divide the students into two categories. Category number one, who is strong in physics? and category number 2 who is weak or average in physics if you come under category 1 then solve physics first biology at second and chemistry at last and if you come under category 2 then solve biology first chemistry at second and physics at last and spend 40 to 45 minutes for biology and spend 55 to 60 minutes for physics and chemistry and spend remaining time for unsolved questions Once I got the question paper, before solving, I used to review the paper for a few minutes and I will check for difficulty. If question paper is easy, I will be very careful because I should not do any careless mistakes. And if question paper is difficult, again I will be more careful because I should not do any negative markings. And please don't worry if it is hard because if it is hard for you and definitely it will be hard for everyone. Ok, after I have done all that, I will follow these steps. First of all, I read the question twice before answering to ensure I haven't missed any word. Second, I use the pen while reading the question to improve my focus. Third, I will underline if found not, except or units in case of physics. This is where 99% of the students do blunders or silly mistakes. By following this strategy, this can be reduced. Fourth, I will read all the four options without fail because read this question. The answer for this question is fourth option, that is all the above. If you didn't read all the four options, you will think that the answer is first option after reading the first one. By reading the, all the four options, you can eliminate this mistake. Fifth, if I found the answer, I will mark a dot near that option. And if I don't know the answer, I will simply round that question and move on to next question. When to shade poem or shade? Once I completed solving the entire page, I will go through the same page once again to find if I made any silly mistakes. Once I am 100% sure, then I will take my OMR sheet and say the option only for that page. And I don't recommend you to shade option after each question because it will affect your flow much. And I also don't recommend you to shade options after completing one subject because in this method, there is a higher risk of shading answers wrongly. If you made one mistake, then the remaining all the answers will go wrong. So the best strategy is shading after one page because the risk is very very less and you will also get a little break after solving few questions and avoid shading from the middle or from the side. Instead draw a circle and fill that space. If you are comfortable with this strategy and I highly recommend you to follow this strategy. If you are solving physics or chemistry questions, practice marking a question number and try to write it clearly and finally draw a line between two questions to differentiate. This method will help you to recheck your answers once again. By drawing a line and writing it clearly will help you to reduce your blunders. If you don't find any answer for any question, please avoid following inky pinky ponking strategy and don't do any guesswork. It is very very important when the question paper is hot. Before the exam, try practicing breathing exercise to calm your mind. This will help you to improve your focus and decrease your anxiety. Your brain is composed of 85% of water and research studies have found that when your brain depletes 1% of water, you are likely to have a 5% decrease in cognitive or brain function. So it is very very important to stay hydrated before and during your exam. If you are having exam at 2 pm, try to have lunch at 12 pm so that you don't feel sleepy and take only light food for easy digestion. Final strategy I follow is, on the way to my exam center, I used to give some food or money to the needy because their smile will give me a positive vibes and I always feel good. It's my own opinion as helping others is always free and you don't need any degree to do that. With this, I conclude this video and I also made a video on last moment revision strategy 
In that video, I have explained important revision tricks and if you didn't watch that video, click here and enjoy watching. And I hope this video is useful and if you didn't subscribe to my channel, consider subscribing NEET Master for quality videos for NEET. See you in next video.